Hi everyone, my name is David and I'm in Paris and my wife, Katerina, Hello. I'm she, in Boston. Um, we were asked to add to this collection of Bach excerpts um, that um, Heifetz faculty have been putting on and we're really pleased to present uh, you guys with uh, an excerpt from a performance of the B minor mass, of Bach's B minor mass that we did in Leipzig in Bach's church, uh, the Thomas Church, last summer in 2019, um, with no distancing whatsoever, those good old days. Um, anyway, this, this movement is uh, um, a particular favorite for the, for the two of us. Um, mine is, is because uh, my wife, Katerina, played in it, and she played in it so beautifully. Well, it's also a favorite of mine, but um, it's an extraordinary movement within an extraordinary piece, which is such an immense monument, a musical monument, um, which actually in my uh, uh, take is almost like a, a piece of architecture. And in this particular case, the movement um, is based on four words in Latin. Laudamus te, which means um, we praise you. Uh, and then benedicimus te, which is we bless you. Um, then adoramus te, we adore you. And finally glorificamus te, we um, glorify you. All towards God, of course. They're, they're given such incredible variety of, of painting in, in, in Bach's hand that you never feel like it's repetitive, even though the singer is saying the words over and over again. And yet the piece flies by um, with so much uh, variation and subtlety. And it's, and it's really extraordinary the way it does it. There was a thing that happened just before we played this piece, which was uh, two weeks, two months, sorry, before the performance in Leipzig, um, Notre Dame in Paris, um, burned and and immediately it sprung to my mind that here you have this massive cathedral with the four central uh, points you know form on, on on an axis like that and then you have the laudamus te which is um uh this this incredible solo movement which in the end resembles the spire which unfortunately um you know burned during uh, during that um uh, during that fire, but it 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 reminded me always the laudamus is has that kind of filigree the the lightness the 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 intricacy the the constant the repetitive um, patterns but that are always upward moving and um, it's just one of those gorgeous it's the it's the spire of the cathedral if you know if the B minor mass is, is Notre Dame then this is the spire it's such a beautiful image and and I'm thinking you know at the beginning of the piece there's the Kyrie and the Kyrie is, is this this moment of of where the fear of God is is expressed by the chorus. And you remember in the violins, there's this beautiful scale which comes from up and just comes down gently as if God is coming down and passing the word to, to the earth. And then uh, a few movements later, we have the La Damoste where everything, as you say, is going back up there. And that, that relationship between above and, and on the earth is what this piece is about and what gives us so much a revelation. Um, I mean, Bach's, uh, obviously we know that, you know, he spent his entire life adding to this piece um, and he finished it shortly before he died, which is why he actually never heard it in its entirety. But um, the Laudamos comes from the early period. So uh, he, he was a, it's fresh and it's, it's youthful and there's something so personal and each time he changes. And I was also thinking about how it's in A major, but there are two sections, uh, one in F sharp uh, minor, which is of course the relative minor of A major, and then the C sharp minor, which is the, the third. So either you're going the third down to the, to the sixth of the F sharp minor, or you're going a third up to C sharp minor, which balances these, these two very personal areas. It's like every time he goes into the minor in this work, it sounds like he's getting away from rhetoric and he's into something really personal as if he's trying to express his, his happiness and his joy. And I, and I love the fact that you and Adele were so much intertwining during this movie. Well, right, that's the, the essence of a duet and of, a, of an obligato aria in this case, which is an aria that is accompanied by a solo instrument. And basically we had a conversation going on 
the entire time and that gives it the the human aspect so we're we're in we're in latin and we're in this in this world of um uh you know of the of the of the liturgical mass but we're actually we're actually impersonating something very very um human and as artists and we are speaking to you know an audience and and it, there's just this great connection and especially in that church uh playing in the organ loft which is already high up you just have this incredible feeling of of being uplifted and um yeah, anyway, I, it was an what, experience. What, what you guys can see on the video is that we were playing to the church and down at the back of the church was Bach's grave and um you know when you're playing to when he's in the audience you got to be careful. It's a, that's a, it's yeah. a serious critic. Yeah. Um, anyway, it was a great moment for, for, for me. I'll never forget that. And um, we're really happy to share this with you today. So we hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it.
Oh, 